everybody, and well, happy Sunday. I um, have a, a couple stories to tell you. So, I thought I would do a mukbang. I haven't done one of these forever. And I stopped, I went to um, Dollar Tree. I'm going to do a little haul for you. I haven't done this stuff for so long. I hope I don't screw it up. But I went to Hardee's and got a $5 all-star meal. So, I don't even know what's in here except for like a double cheeseburger and some onion rings. And then I got a pop, too. I must have left that Let's in the other open room. open this bugger up. And this is what's in there. It's got french fries in there, too. And a cookie. Cookie's really soft. Um, double cheeseburger. Which I really don't want to have on my desk here. So, and French fries and onion rings. Okay, so I'm gonna move everything over so I can put my cheese, tilt my cheeseburger up in there. It's just a regular cheeseburger. I mean, double cheeseburger. So let's dig in. Mmm, very good. Their onion rings look like they could have been cooked for another 30 seconds or so. Mm, good. Very good, though. Very crunchy, so that's the way I like them. I don't have any makeup on today. I had to go to the Dollar Tree. This morning, Buddy jumped down off my lap and went running to the refrigerator. And as he did, a little mouse went scurrying. Oh my God, I am so freaked out over this thing. Mice can do a lot of damage. Besides, I'm scared to shitless of them. So, I had to go to the Dollar Tree to buy some preventative stuff. And so I thought, since something happened the other night, I would do, um, I went to Walgreens Friday or Thursday night. I had to go pick up my medication, so I spent some bucks in there. So I'll show you what I got there in a haul, and then I'll do my Dollar Tree haul also. So I'll have three videos up today, which is crazy for me in a week. But... I lost this week's, this last week's, and the week before's making it work. I went to try and, um, this hamburger is very dry. I went to, um, I thought I was being smart, and I have a video camera that I that I have on here. So I hooked it up to my computer, my laptop. That's the way I always do it, and then I just move, drag the videos over, and then I can edit and upload. I thought I was being smart and was going to move, so I had nine. I didn't work Friday. I got really sick. So I did not work Friday. So I had nine days of videos of making it work. Five for the week before and four for this last week. And I thought, geez, I, I go, I'll be smart about this. I'll move, because I had other stuff to do. I'll move them each individually into their own folder. And then I can move them all at once onto my desktop. Well, I did that. They disappeared. And my um, computer, you know, where it shows you how much space is used, is showing zero space is used. So they are gone. I have no idea where they are. They never went to my recycle bin. Nothing. 
I have no idea where they're at. So if somebody can help me, I will still upload them. But I can't find them. They're just disappeared. I'm sick because I, you know, put a lot of time in. I mean, well, every morning for, you know, five minutes or so, I'm on there talking to you guys. And I talked about a lot of stuff this week. Anyway, I'm sick to death. If anybody knows how to recover those files or to figure out where they're at, I moved them into the DC, is it DCMI or DCIM? DCMI file, and they're gone. See, I start off with where it shows you how much space is used, and I had used over half of what I had. Um, so then you open that, and it says um, DCIM or miscellaneous. So I chose the DCIM. I, ho I hope I'm saying that right. It might be MI. Anyway, and there's a folder for each day. Each video that I do has its own separate folder. So that's, I moved, I opened up each folder, the file that was inside, I moved to my DCIM folder. And it went bye-bye. I have no idea. No idea whatsoever what happened to it. So if anybody can help me, that would be awesome. Um, also, two weeks ago, or this last week, Dining rings are really good. Does anybody have a Hardee's where you're at? They're also called uh, Carl Jr., I believe. Um... This last week I started physical therapy. The first day, I love my therapist, by the way. She's a female. She's probably about 30, maybe. 30. Late 20s, early 30s. Very, very nice girl. I like her a lot. So the first day, she just assessed my strengths and weaknesses. Um, you know, because I have pain... Some days, I pain in my mid-back, which is a thoracic spine. Some days, I have pain in my lower back, which is the... It's not the cervical. What is it? Anyway. And then, along with that, I have from my hip to my knee on the right side of my right leg, sciatica pain that sometimes can be very severe. It's always a little numb. It has been for years. But sometimes it feels like there's a branding iron on the inside trying to push its way out. Sometimes it feels like there's a jolt of electricity that, that um, is on the inside of my skin. Um, I have severe arthritis <clears throat> on both sides of my spine, and I have degenerative disc disease, which everybody my age has some form of degenerative disc disease. Mine is, is not real good, but she thinks it's more in all the muscles, because even by the end of the day, I, it hurts to take a deep breath. I'm, my ribs hurt. And so she thinks it's more muscular. Um, I might have some tears in my muscles, stuff like that. So anyway, what she did, she just assessed me that first day. Then um, at the end of that, then she put, um, if any of you know what a TENS unit is, or um, they're little electrodes. She put four of them crisscrossed on my lower back. And then... She dials up a deal, and and it's like a buzzing, like a electrical charge. So uh, 
just when I'm at the verge of it being uncomfortable is when I tell her to stop. And then she goes away and puts up, or she puts a hot pack over my back along with that TENS unit, and that TENS unit pulses. And it relaxes those muscles. So we did that for 15 minutes. Because I was at a 10 out of uh, out of 10 for pain that day. And the next day I was a 10 out of 10 for pain. I mean, every day um, when I go there, I'm going to be a 10 because it's at the end of my work day. And I'm in severe pain by them. So, very good. It's got some ketchup and mustard and pickles on there. I asked for extra onions. Oh, there are some onions on the inside of the bun. There aren't very many, though. Anyway, where was I? On the second day, we started off with the TENS unit for 15 minutes. And she had me lay a little different. I lay on my side because that's more comfortable for me. Laying on my back is severely painful. Um, so she had me lay on my side up against the wall and then put the heating pad and that seemed to work a lot better. The other day, the first day, I kind of held it down by my side and um, that didn't work as well. So anyway, we started off and she said since I'm in such pain and we're at the beginning of this that we would start. Oh, by the way, she gave me a few exercises to do. Like sitting in my recliner with my knees bent and then rocking them back and forth. So I do that a lot. Um, that one there I can do a whole lot. And then taking a towel behind my knee and lifting it as high as I can up to my chest with, you know, before I'm in pain and then just holding it there for 30 seconds and then doing the other leg and doing the same thing. Um, that seems to be working. I don't know. It's not helping yet. But she thought within three weeks I should notice um, a markedly improvement in my pain level. So this is eight weeks long, um, my therapy. So anyway, and she wants me to go three times a week because of the severity. We're working that out. So anyway, the second day, I keep getting sidetracked, I'm sorry. The second day, she we did the TENS unit, and then she says, I'm going to, how about a massage? Let's do a massage for the, le the rest of the time. And... Um, see if that helps. Well, she didn't warn me that her massages really hurt. I mean, she pushed knuckles hard as she could into my back for 30 minutes. I was crying. It hurt so bad. But she says, your, your muscles are like solid steel. They're so hard that we got to get them loosened up. And it's from being in such pain for so long. So, I still hurt today. Um, not as bad. I mean, it just feel, felt, Friday and yesterday felt like I was bruised. Like my whole back was bruised. It hurt so bad. And today is not near as bad. It's kind of going away. So I have an appointment. This week is a tough week because we have ca huge caterings all week at work. Um, the president uh, <clears throat> invites the whole board over to her home, and so they have a really fancy meal. So we have up an executive chef from Vegas coming for the week. And I've heard he's pretty tough. I mean, you can't talk in the kitchen or nothing, and that's going to be hard for us women. Uh, 
But anyway, he's coming. It's Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, so I have to stay late some of those nights. Well, I have to have um, at least two days of therapy. So I'm going Tuesday. Monday, she was booked. Um, Tuesday and Wednesday. So I'm going Tuesday and Wednesday at 4 o'clock. And um, I asked my boss, and she said Wednesday would be fine, but um, not Thursday and Friday. And I said, no, I, I had already told her I couldn't. Fridays, they close at 3.30, so their last appointment's at 2.30. I can't go on Fridays. I can't get off an hour early on Fridays. So um, the next week we booked, I can't remember if it was Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, or Monday, Wednesday, Thursday. I can't remember. I'll have to look on my sheet. But um, that's for next week. This week is Tuesday and Wednesday. I'm already kind of full. I'm only half done with my sandwich. Mm, what else? I do have something very heartfelt to talk about. That I talked about this last week in my making it work, but I had some barbecue sauce. I will take pictures of everything that I used the last two weeks and put them on in my Instagram. So if you're not following me there, go on over. The link is down there. Anyway, I freaked out so bad when I saw that mouse. I mean, it's just a little itty bitty thing, but I'm I'm just like bats. I'm terrified of those two things. They're both rodents, and Buddy doesn't know what to do. He just lays and watches him. Some mouser I have. So I went and I bought some preventative things. Which I'll show you in my next haul. Um, my very good friend Lulu lost her husband last night. If any of you follow her, which I'm sure a lot of you do, she, I will link her channel down below. Her husband has been fighting a very, very rare form of cancer for, you know, I don't even know how long. It's been months. It's been I don't think it's been a year. I'm not real sure. I don't think so. Um, where he he had these very aggressive tumors that would pop up everywhere. Uh, she had showed it, a picture one time of his arm, and it was just that poor, poor man, what he went through. His arm was very was useless at the end. Um, he, you know, it was painful, and he just couldn't use it. But... He's been going, he, ha, he was in a clinical trial, and he got kind of sick, so they had to drop out. Just the last few days, he's gone downhill very fast. A um, couple days ago, she put on there, he has a week, or a, day, a few days to a week, and last night he was gone. So if you are people that pray, Please say a, a prayer for Lulu and their two sons. And Vito's in a better place. We know that. But Lulu and her sons have to grieve. I have never, in all my years, even my parents, I have never seen a, two people or somebody that's been married for so long that we're still so much in love. And she adored him. Adored him. So she's going through a really rough time right now. Say a prayer, please. Thank you. Okay. Um, I don't know what else to talk about. <laughs> it's very dreary, very rainy. It has been the last two days. Yesterday it rained all day. Um, today it's of course, as soon as I got in the car, it started raining. I 
I've had much better meals there. Their Frisco burgers are to die for. I almost wish I would have got that, but I'm trying to save a little money. And these were five dollars. Five dollars and thirty-eight cents, as a matter of fact. Five thirty-eight. Yep. They had four different meals, and this sounded the best to me. Because I didn't want two sandwiches. And the other ones had th two different sandwiches in each one. Or chicken strips. That's what I should have got. So anyway, um, I woke up Friday morning, got up, ran to the bathroom, and threw up. I wasn't feeling the best on Thursday. And so Friday, I, I stayed in my chair all day. I did not feel good whatsoever. Yesterday, I didn't do much either. I just kind of laid around. Uh, so today, I'm, I'm, like I said, I went shopping. And I need to do, you know, dishes. And I need to sweep my floors and um, do my vacuuming. Um, maybe do some dusting. I'm not real sure. But anyway, I think that's about it for today. I just, I can't rem can't think of anything else to say. Um. <laughs> I will talk to you guys very soon. I'm glad you joined me. I hope you enjoyed this. I know I didn't eat a whole lot, but uh, I had a lot to tell you. And so I'll talk to you very soon. Bye-bye.